was able to do. I mean, with well, the I mean, inability to throw strikes. But again, we're going to talk about that tomorrow because we're going to talk to Danny Boy Downs. Uh, Danny Boy Downs joining us on the line. First off, Danny, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Just uh, like a wanes tomorrow, so right now I'm just trying to uh, not be as cranky as I usually am. Uh, and you talk about weigh-ins. Uh, what exactly goes into you know getting yourself uh, down to uh, the the 155 you fight at? I mean, what what are you going to have to do uh, today and tomorrow to kind of get yourself to that where you need to be? Oh, uh, first off, a lot of it has to do with I guess not eating. Um, like the last couple of days, all I really have are like almonds and vegetable juice, so it's not too much fun. Um, the pen, you know, I just try to get it as uh, as low as possible because. I don't like um, spending a lot of time in the sauna, and especially, like, my last fight was the best I ever felt, and I woke up on weight. I didn't really have to bother with, you know, going to the sauna, putting on the sweatsuit, trying to sweat all that out. So uh, it's definitely the best I've felt, you know, without having to do that. So I'd like to uh, kind of recreate that. But, you know, I'll get up tomorrow, check where my weight's at, and then depending on what it is, I'll have to, you know, throw on the plastics and all that stuff and, and try to sweat out the other uh, last few pounds. Uh, you look at your opponent for for your Friday night fight, uh, Tory Bogus. Um, I, I guess you know he doesn't have. There's not a ton of stuff out there on him. You know, it, it's kind of even hard to search him down and find him. So does that maybe put you at a disadvantage that knowing that there isn't a ton of tape on this guy and there isn't a ton of stuff you know about him? I mean, he could be a wild card fight for you. Oh yeah, I mean a lot of these these guys that you don't know a lot about. You know, there's not sure what the thing. You know, it doesn't help me to watch YouTube fights of him from two years ago. Uh, but, you know, again, that, that's what I had to deal with with the early part of my career. You know, when you first start out, you're facing guys, if you're 0 0, you're 1 0, even if you had two or three fights, you know, it's not like these guys have, you know, a lot of tape on them. Um, you know, some guys who had three fights and say, whatever, you know, Bufu, Wisconsin doesn't, <laughs> you know, you're not going to know a whole bunch. But, you know, you just, uh, you just got to kind of adapt, and that's why you train everything. Whatever they give you, you'll take. I mean, even if you look at the Zhang fight, the way it played out was pretty much the exact opposite of how, you know, we game plan for it. So, you know, game plans get thrown out the window once you get punched in the face. 